day and welcome and thank you for joining me today. I'm Rob Ouellette and this is your Inner Being channel. Today we're going to continue this project and where I turn or convert this plain old quiver uh, for my arrows into something that's got a little bit more uh, flair to it, a little bit more of a Rob-ishness to it, which is very rustic looking in nature in its natural form. Now, to get to this stage, there was actually a, a previous video that I did where I was playing around with natural dyes. And in that video, I converted this piece of leather that was more of a yellowish color. And so we really went from that to this. The materials that we're going to use are things like feathers, some rabbit fur, and I have some other leather pieces. Probably gonna throw in some beads, studs. Oh, there's this cool unique piece over here that I had from, um, that I made a long time ago and I never really used it for anything. So we're going to use it on here. Watch and enjoy. We're gonna make something fun. So let's get to it. So the first step is to get an idea of what you're trying to accomplish. My next step is going to tie these blue jay feathers. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button to show your support. Now we're putting in the studs. This is the most trickiest part that I had. I punctured the holes with my awl and then I put the stud pieces in, but then it was very difficult to get the other ends to fold over. Do you have to close the stud ends in order for it to stay? You couldn't see inside and I could barely clip them together, but eventually I did and it looks great. Once the fur was glued in, I did tack it in along the way so that it didn't fall off. So there we go, there we have it. We have ourselves a brand new quiver. It is so nice, I think. It's pretty amazing how we went from this plain old yellow, old fashioned, kind of boring looking quiver, and we jazzed it up into something that I think is kind of cool. You know, the colors changed, and we got a couple of studs and fur, it's pretty awesome. It's like a style that you just can't buy. This is something very unique because I made it. And that's the fun part about all of this is being able to create, craft something that's unique to you, that fits your flavor, that fits your vibe. And you know what? Sometimes it doesn't matter what the cost is. Something like this in, in a way almost feels priceless. I want to thank you for joining me again on this fun little project of mine and I hope it inspires you to do something similar, do the same thing. Until next time.
Enjoy life. Take care. And I wish you well.